figure out why you two guys are standing there looking at me like you're cops or something. <laughs> All right. Now, I did this wrong for 20 years. So, so I got it. I did this wrong and won second place in the Marine Corps, first Marine Corps judo championship. I took, I was a runner up and I did this wrong. I did this wrong when I won the nationals myself. I was doing it wrong for 20 years. And I gotta teach you today so you don't do it wrong. Okay? Watch what I did wrong. You just stand there and don't move, okay? Just, just stay your legs. Always take the ookie position. I would come in for a hip technique, right? I would step in, that sounds good, right? And I would come around her neck and use my hip at the same time, and boom, I would hit her with my hip. That's wrong. Okay? Actually, the way it works is the way I taught you. You stay there, like you are. You come in like water. You have to always know that you're the water, you're the wave. And when you get up and you start coming like this, you go up, you take a step back, and you go down to one knee, you take it down. Did I bump her? Did I bump her with my hip? I just pushed her back slightly. That's all I did. So on hip technique, what you need to do know is it's not a matter of, let's see, it's not a matter of coming in and bumping them back. It's a matter of coming in and holding them to me. Because all that happens with the slight bump is, whoops! I don't throw her over that way. Did you notice where she went? I'm here and I hold her to me. Then all I need to do is this, whoops! And her feet slide out from under. Now I don't know how we're going to teach this today, but you're going to try it. You three guys take it, you four together. You go with them too, Bush. Two throws. You guys Two throws. One is Ogoshi around the neck and hit here. That's Ogoshi. You keep your hand straight. You move your hand to this position here. Watch my hip. See, I push him out. I don't pull him over. I push him back. That's Ogoshi. The other one, which I like, is Ukigoshi. You come in sideways, right here. And you just whoop. See, I push him back. See, I push him back. Concentrate on that. Because that's what you got to do. When you're in a contest, you don't have time to come in and pick somebody up. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You're going to come in, you're going to bump them. This back foot is going to cause the bump. This back foot is going to cause the bump. It's not that thing. This back foot. This back foot that comes in. See this back foot? Boom! It pushes it back. Okay, so start working on it. All right, see how he wants to pick her up? See how he wants to use his arms to pick her up? Now, straighten up more. That's it. Bend your knees down. Now, bump her, bump her when you go back. Just bump her. Go. Did you see what happened? Uh, can you see what I see or am I weird? I know, don't say it. Don't answer that question. You call me weird, I'm on the other grade. Do it again. Bump. Don't bump yet. Just fit in. Bump. Not finish, he goes over. You bump. You bump. There you go. You don't pick them up and throw them over. That's a big mistake everybody's making. Now, I don't know how to correct that. It took me 20 years doing it wrong before I figured it out. I just don't want you to waste 20 years doing it your way. When I don't even know who taught me this, but I saw somebody do it at one time. It's like, I'm doing that wrong. Do it again. Come in first. Bump. 
Come in first. Oh, just come on first. Go. Go ahead. Just come in. Freeze. Now bend your knees more. Now it's out. You feel comfortable? Now, all I want you to do is hold them to your arm. Hold them, hold them tight. And push them out of the way of your hips. Push. No, no, no. You're just swinging your arms. You gotta push them out of the way of your hips. Go again. Now, now, are you holding them to you? Tight? Like you really like it? Now, now, keep holding them there. Keep holding them there. Now push his hips out of the way. Push. That's the idea. Got the idea? Do it again. You guys get it? Now you gotta hold him to you. You gotta hold him to you. You can't pull him. You gotta push him out of the way of your hips. Go. Go. Now come on, get to it. See here? I hold her to me. I pick her up. I let her drop. Wanna dance? Boom. See my knees are bent? I hold her to me. I pick her up. You're pulling over. You don't need to do the pull over, but you gotta pick her up. But the mistake you're making is you're coming in straight legged and there's nothing left to bump with. You gotta come in with your knees bent so you can boom. So you hold them here and you go boom. And it picks them up. And you let them drop. You never let go of that sleeve. Never let go of that sleeve. Okay? Get back up. Don't use the right arm, just pull.
One, two, three. Whoops! Think you can try that? Nice and slow and easy. Do it with the light ones. Don't you big guys try it yet. Do it with the light ones so you get the idea. Come on. Bottom line, she steps here. Step. Look where my leg is. Whoop! That's called Uchimata. Uchimata. So I broke my finger in a match. Countering that deadly throw. It's usually done from here, and you just change legs. That's a little advanced for you. Mm -hmm. So we won't do that. Come on.